on where is the oversight. So often, if you think about a normal work environment, you're coming in and you're working alongside your manager and your coworkers, and everybody sees your interaction and how you perform your job on an everyday basis. And when you're providing home care services into somebody's home, that care provider is going in independently and working one-on-one -on -one with the person's family member or loved one. And for our agency, we like to have an extension from our office right out into the home, not only to provide the support to our client, but also to provide the support to our care provider. So we have a supervisor and she serves in a variety of functions. The first function is that when we begin our services on the very first day of care, she will accompany the caregiver out to the home and make sure that that introduction goes smoothly because nerves are high, you're having a brand new person come in, and sometimes you're having them tend to the most personal care needs that anybody has ever done for you that you've been able to do independently. So she wants to make sure that that introduction goes smoothly, that we acclimate and show the caregiver around the home so that they don't spend their entire first day looking for where everything is to um, help our client out and even tend to just the regular household needs. From there, she will do regular home-based visits. So anybody that receives round-the-clock care from our agency, they get a visit every single week. Those visits are unannounced to our caregivers. So when we do that, we're happy to let our family members and our clients know of that visit, but we don't want our actual staff member to know about the visit. From there, she'll actually separate the caregiver and the client and speak privately with each of them to talk a little bit more openly about how each of them feel that the care is going and what the needs are and are they being met. So by separating each person and having that honest conversation, we can address if there's a concern, even if the caregiver is concerned and sees some things that are a repetitive pattern that could maybe be indicative of a urinary tract infection or maybe some dementia progressing along, then we can go back to the family and start strategizing on how to modify the care plan or get them the care that they need um, from a medical professional.